so do black holes evaporate? Well, back in the 1970s, Stephen Hawking came up with a theoretical argument showing that black holes aren't entirely black. Due to a quantum mechanical effect, they actually do emit a tiny little bit of radiation. The energy that produces the radiation comes from the mass of the black hole itself. And through this consequence, the black hole gradually shrinks. This turns out that the rate of the radiation increases as the mass decreases. So basically speaking, the black hole continues to radiate more and more intensely. And this, in turn, shrinks the black hole more and more rapidly until it vanishes entirely. This is part true, but actually calculations show that no one is really sure what happens in the later stages of a black hole evaporation. Some researchers think that a tiny, stable remnant is left behind. Our current theories simply aren't good enough to tell us which way to go in understanding the evaporation of black holes. In fact, the entire subject of black hole evaporation is extremely speculative. The process involves figuring out how to perform quantum mechanical calculations in curved space-time. This is basically quantum field theory. This gives us a result that is essentially impossible to test with our experiments and technology. It is a difficult task even to understand the mathematics, never mind the actual object itself. Scientists think that we have the correct theories to make predictions about black hole evaporation. But without experimental tests, it's near enough impossible for sure. So if black holes do evaporate, why exactly do they evaporate? Basically, the uncertainty principle of quantum mechanics allows the law of energy conservation to be violated. And this only really seems to happen at the quantum level because of quantum mechanics, of course, and it can only really happen through short-term durations. The universe is able to produce mass and energy out of nowhere. But then again, it's very hard to measure this mass and energy because it can disappear instantaneously. There is basically one way that you can kind of manifest how these things evaporate, and that's through vacuum fluctuations. This can happen between particles and antiparticles appearing out of nowhere. They can exist for a very short amount of time and they annihilate each other. The energy conservation is violated when the particles are created, but when the energy is restored, they annihilate again. And this is the basic point of vacuum fluctuations. These happen near the horizon of the black hole. For example, you can say that one of the two particles falls across the horizon whilst the other one escapes. The particle that escapes from the black hole carries energy away. And to an observer looking at the black hole, they would see that the black hole has emitted a particle if you carry this over and over again, it will look like there is a stream of radiation coming from the black hole. Well, I hope that's given you a good insight into black hole mechanics and also event horizons, particles, quantum field theory, vacuum fluctuations, everything like that, and of course about black hole evaporations. I hope you enjoyed the video, leave a like if you liked it, and if you really, really, really liked it, click the subscribe button. Thank you.